Hi guys, I hope you're all okay and having a good week. Uh, just a short video um, about a subject that I wanted to touch on, um, just with regards to comparing uh, results of body transformations that you may see. Um, you may have seen last week I posted or we posted uh, Adam's body transformation over an eight week period. Uh, he did absolutely unbelievable, incredible commitment from him from start to finish um, and off the back of that we've had a lot of people inquire um, asking about uh, our body transformation programs how they work could they get that that level of commitment uh, sorry could they get that level of results what would they need to do etc um, and i explained the process uh, we don't sort of pull any punches when it comes to explaining what's required to anyone who starts with us and anyone who in inquires to us. Uh, the first thing we establish is their start point. Now, that eight week transformation that I did with Adam was very aggressive from start to finish in terms of the training, the nutrition, um, the amount of cardio towards the end of the program. Um, but I identified early on with Adam, he was gonna follow these plans I identified early on how important it was to him uh, and how much he wanted to get out of it. Literally for the eight weeks, he lived the program. You know, he's got a busy job. He works night shifts. He's got works long hours, uh, personal life, family life. It's all in there like most of us. But I identified early on that I could tell he was going to follow these plans religiously. Nothing more, nothing less. He just did exactly what he asked of him throughout. That's the kind of level of commitment that is required when you need to do that kind of transformation over an eight week period. He even joined another gym that was open 24 hours so we could get his cardio done through the night after a night shift. So that's the kind of level that he went to. So there's various factors that sort of determine that kind of result. Genetically as well, I'm a big believer that genetically you need to be gifted um, or have good genetics to achieve a certain level of physique. Um, I'm a firm believer in that, um, but at the same time, having good genetics is pointless if you're not going to follow plans and if you're not going to stick at it. Um, so it's important that obviously that's taken into account as well. Um, and the most important thing is obviously appreciating your own individual time frame. You know, this is something that we, me and Cal push a lot on clients at the start and anyone who inquires to us. Most people, most people aren't going to get to their end physique in eight weeks. It's going to take months, it's going to take, so for a lot of people, years. And also, it depends what your end physique goal is in your mind. Now, Adam's transformation was fantastic, but that's where he wanted to get to. That's where I wanted to get into. That's what he, we agreed on. But not everybody wants to get, you know, six-pack abs and rip muscles. That isn't for everyone, and that is fine, okay? It's all about appreciating a point, what point, would you want to get to with your physique that will make you happier, more comfortable in your clothes, more confident, better self-esteem, and just everything will come together in terms of the things I've mentioned if you get to that point, okay? Most people out there just wanna get a little bit leaner, just lean up a little bit, a little bit more definition, just feel better in themselves, and that is fine, guys, but it's all about appreciating your individual your individual time frame, your personal circumstances, your start points, and then uh, quite often it's having the accountability to a coach who will be honest with you with these factors, okay? But don't compare to other people, okay? Don't be on a certain journey where you're, you're feeling good about yourself and you're losing weight, and then you see a result like Adam's or some other body transformation and you think, oh, I want to get like that. How can I do that? Okay, guys, it's all about appreciating your own your own circumstances, your own goals, your own beliefs, and staying true to that and focusing on that. Don't compare to other people. Don't hate on other people either, guys. This is another big thing. You know, well, quite often, you know, people want people to fail at things and the sort of envious of people that achieve things. You know, Adam, in any transformation that we've done with clients, you know, those that give it their absolute best for the period of time that we ask for them get fantastic results. It all depends on the individual and how much level of commitment they are prepared to put in. But when you see end results, you haven't seen the effort and commitment um, and sacrifice that they put in, you know, prepping meals, cooking meals, 
going to the gym, getting up earlier, going to the gym after work or on your lunch break or whatever it is, those that get great results on a program are those that place it as a high value in their life. This is the most important thing that you would have seen me talk about a lot and Cal talk about and lots of other coaches. If it's that important to you to achieve your end goal, whatever it is, it, you have to value it. You have to value exercise, you have to value nutrition, and you have to be consistent with it over a sustained period of time. And that is all it takes, guys. And for most of you, most of you, you probably won't be able to do it on your own. And I've touched on this a lot, and I will continue to touch on it because I've been doing this a long time, guys. I know how people function, I know how people work, and most people struggle to do it for a sustained period of time by themselves because things come up, holidays, Christmas, birthdays, weekends away, whatever it is, and lack of patience, not getting to where they wanna be um, after eight weeks or 10 weeks or two months or whatever it is, and then without anybody there to support them and, and mentor them and, and make them appreciate that it's gonna take X amount of time, depending on your start points, without anybody there to tell them that and support them, they slowly fall back into old habits. That is just a fact of what people do, unfortunately. Okay, guys. But, like I say, if it does mean that much to you, if you are currently in a position where you don't feel great about yourself and you want to make those improvements, what I would say to you guys is do everything that you can to make it happen. Whether that's hiring a coach or hiring a PT, whatever it may be, make sure that you value it high enough to achieve it. Okay, guys? Um, I hope that helps. Um, have a good week and I will see you soon.